Destiny 2 is uh, launching its Moment of Triumph events, starting July 8. So the event begins with a weekly reset, and the players will be able to travel across the solar system with the five reward tiers waiting for them. To earn the Moment of a Triumph emblem, players will only need to complete one triumph. Completing five will unlock a sparrow, while completing ten will unlock a new ship. Completing 15 challenges will give players a discount on a custom $777,777 t-shirt, while completing 20 will reward them a seal and a title. Marigan Vault Burst will be launching in Steam this month. Anti Crate announced that they recently concluded the Anime Expo. Uh, the game will be available starting July 31, 2019. The PC version of Marigan Vault Burst will include three playable characters from the PS4 version Gan Vault Back from Mighty Number no. 9 and the Ekoru from Galgan. And its DLC, which will contain more characters, will be available for portraits. Tarring day one. The free-to-play Nintendo Switch Puzzle Royale Tetris 99 is getting another DLC this year. The paid DLC will be available towards the end of the year, though a specific release date has not been announced yet. According to reports, these upcoming DLC might contain a new mood which players can enjoy with friends and family, meaning this could finally be the offline multiplayer mode players have been requesting. Digimon Survive has been delayed to 2020. Bandai Namco confirmed at the recently held Anime Expo. The game was originally planned for release in 2019 and will be available for PC, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. As the company did not mention any reasons why they had to delay the game's release, and Digimon Survive promises to bring a brand new adventure set in a mysterious world. Careers are coming to a lot dangerous later this year. These huge careers will be available sometime in December through an update that will be released for demand. Frontier Developments did not share any specifics about the fleet career set of this time, and the developer also announced that the game's premium currency has been rebranded and will now be called ARCS. So the change will be rolled out in the game's September update.
A new horror game is coming this year and the game is called NG and it is the second game from the Spirit Hunter horror series from Experience. NG will be available on October 2019 for PC Nintendo Switch, PS4, and PS Vita. The game is described as a companion story for the first game, Dustmark, which was released last year. The game follows the story of a young man who was cursed and is looking for his little sister who disappeared. A new DLC character has been revealed for Jumped Force as announced by Bandai Namco at Anime Expo. The new character is Katsuki Bakugo, My Hero Academia. So he will be joining Jumped Force alongside Majin Buu of a Dragon Ball this summer. Bakugo has a special ability which allows him to create explosions. He is the third My Hero Academia character to join the Jump Force rooster. Bond and Emco shared some details on its upcoming RPG Blue Protocol. The game is currently confirmed for PC and will feature a character creation system. The company has also mentioned the closed alpha for the game which will run from July 26 until the 28th. The alpha is currently available for players in Japan but unfortunately no release window has been announced at this time. A new feature will be added to Warframe when its new Empyrean update rolls out. The new feature called Squad Link allows players to send out a distress call to nearby allies. So these the players can provide assistance for missions from where they are located. Empyrean is yet to receive an official launch date and this update will also allow players to infiltrate enemy ships and sabotage them from the inside. Patch 11 of Fallout 76 has been delayed, but it promises to bring improvements to players' experience. This will be done by giving characters that are level 15 and below higher resistance to diseases plus fast travel costs will be reduced for those under level 25. Some challenge rewards have also been improved and some enemy encounters have been turned down for low level characters. So the patch will also bring improvements to power armor and more and full details are available in Bethesda's website.
Bandai Namco has announced that Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition will be launching for PC, Nintendo Switch next year. The game is based from the 2016 JRPG Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, which was only available on the PS4 and the PS Vita. The Complete Edition includes the game's sequel, Hacker's Memory, which was launched back in 2018. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition will be available for PZ and Switch starting October 18, 2020. The deal for today is a bold storm full clip edition. This is an action shooter, first person arcade game from People Can Fly. Our best price for the game right now is for 4 euro point forty three cents as compared to thirty six euro point ninety nine cents on Steam. Get to save up to eighty seven percent of on your city purchase by buying the game through us via our trusted store. We have more deals for you to check out. Just type exclamation mark deal on the stream chat now and get the best deal out of your money and go to allkeyshop.com and compare city game prices. Digital Extreme shared its content plans for Warframe during the recent TanoCon 2019. The developer shared a new cinematic in, um, intro featuring the three starter frames, Excalibur, Vault, and Mag. The game is also set to receive new content, including a new cinematic quest. Large-scale ship combat is also coming to the game. Also presented in the event is the addition of multi-layered objectives, a new aspect of the Empyrean expansion. Access Games confirmed through email correspondence with Anime News Network that they will be releasing Autumn Games to the Nintendo Switch next year. According to Akis or Axis, these games will include old fan favorites and some new surprises. Autumn Games are story-based video games with a romantic theme. Games recently released by Axis include Sweet Fuse, At Your Side, and the 2018 hit Little Dragons Cafe. Fire Emblem Three Houses will take players more than 200 hours to complete. This is roughly 80 hours per house patch, according to Nintendo and Intelligent System directors Genki Yokota and Toshiyoki Kasahikara. Because um, Kosakihara mentioned in an interview, it took him 80 hours just to complete one of the house paths without skipping any cut scenes. It is unknown how many of the side quests and stories he actually did. Fire Emblem Three Houses launches July 26th for the Nintendo Switch.
Final Fantasy XIV director Neo Kiyoshida said he wanted to update the game's visuals. However, it looked like it won't be an easy feat. Yoshida said he is aware that some MMORPGs have become old and he's sure people want to see visual upgrades. However, his team will have to put in a ton of work to upgrade Final Fantasy XIV visuals, so it will take a lot of time to do so. He added, we're exhausted from Shadowbringers, so we want to launch that and maybe then we'll consider our options. Digital Extremes featured a new co-op mission for Warframe during the recently concluded TanaCon 2019. The co-op mission is called Squad Link, which will allow squads to align their objectives. They can also use this to call for help in case they need more hands to tackle an enemy together. Digital Extremes described this feature as Warframe's recreation of Battle of Endor. This feature rolls out with the Imperian expansion. If online players are threatening to end their subscription to the game after CCP Games announced, the game's local chat will have a blackout. The devs deemed it necessary to make changes to the local chat after Drifter battleships, which are NPCs, attacked players. CCP said these attacks significantly affected the players' communications infra infrastructure and decided a blackout should be done. Players have been using the local chat to create scripts that detect enemies or alliances when they enter a territory. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 has received a second AI-enhanced HD texture pack courtesy of modder Reg11BY. The texture pack includes HD textures for every NPC and for all armors in the game for both male and female characters. The texture pack is over 4 GB in size and can be downloaded through the Nexus mods. Black Mesa's original Sen campaign is getting a public beta next month. The public beta starts August 1st. Employers will be able to access two of the five chapters, Sen and Gonarx Lair. The rest, Interloper, Nihilant, and Endgame will be released soon after the public beta, but release dates are not available at this time. Players who own a copy of Black Mesa will be able to access the beta.
D3 Publisher is officially bringing Earth Defense Force 5 to the PC this month. The publisher did not specifically say when, but it uh, or its Steam page shows July 2019 as its release date. The game's PC system requirements have also been revealed, which you can also check out on Steam. Earth the Defense Force 5 is the latest entry to the series and boasts of more missions and weapons as compared to the previous games in the series. It also supports up to four players in online and local co-op in all missions. A new update has rolled out for the Multiplayer Emergency Services Simulator Flashing Lights. The update introduces the ability for police officers to call for medical help when they are injured in their line of duty. This feature will alert to any EMS players on the server when played in multiplayer. The update also adds more supported languages which are traditional Chinese, French, Dutch, Swedish, Danish, Brazilian, Portuguese, and Polish. Details in September update for Elite Dangerous have been revealed at the recently concluded LiveCon Elite Dangerous fan event. The September update for the game will add a new in-ship starter experience, where players will start right from the cockpit of a commander's first ship, a loaned side window. The update will also add a new library system, and the game's virtual currency will be called ARC. The deal for today is Attack on Titan 2. This is an action general game from Omega Force. Our best price for the game right now is 436 euros and 41 cents as compared to 69 euro and 99 cents on Steam. Get to save 47% in your CDK purchase by buying the game through us via our trusted stores. We have more deals for you to check out. Just type exclamation mark deal in the stream chat now. Get the best deal out of your money and go to allkeyshop.com now and compare CDK prices. 